Today, we are going to talk about iterators in SCADE. It happens that we have a lot of SCADE users that have a past of C developers and that are used to seeing in terms of loops in general, for loops, while loops, etc. In SCADE, our paradigm is quite different and sometimes it's a bit difficult for these people to find out how to properly use iterators. So I'm going to take a few examples and try to show how a C developer would write them in C and show in parallel how a SCADE developer would design them using SCADE. Let's start with something very simple. Let's say I'm having an array of integers and want to add plus one to every element of the array. Okay, here we go. We will need to print out something. I will save that somewhere. Okay, it's main. Okay, so let's declare an array A of, let's say, 12 integers. And if I want to add plus one to every element of the array, so the first thing I will have to initialize my array. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So B is going to be my result. and b at index ii receives a at index ii plus one. Okay, and then we can just print our array. So, um, Okay, hopefully I didn't make uh, okay, any mistake. Probably did some. Okay. Okay, so that's a very obvious way to do it in C. Uh, you will note that uh, I've used two different variables, one holding uh, the input, which is A, and one holding the output, which is B. Uh, this is quite important because uh, the semantics of scale is we copy everything. So we never do in place modification. At, le at least not in terms of semantics, then this might or might not be optimized by the co-generator by doing an in-place replacement. Uh, but in terms of meaning, you have to think that there is a copy. So now I'm going to implement the very same thing in Skate Suite, and you will see that it's quite easy. And I'm going to do a new empty project. Let's call it plus one or iterators, it's going to be a generic project. Okay, finish. So in SCADE, let's say I have my input A and my output B. 
Okay, both of them being an array of 12 integers. Okay, so the aim is to compute B from A. And I want to add plus 1 at each element that is in A. Okay, so what I can do is a simple operator that I can call plus 1 that takes one input in and one output out and both of them are going to be integer. What I'm going to do here is a pointwise application of this operator on every element of my A array and that's going to produce a new array that is going to be B. So I'm just doing plus one here on all my ints okay I can check if this part correct yeah it just should be a function here it is and in operator one so the pointwise application of an operator on every element of an array is a map iterator if I forget to use the map iterator I will have an error here if I check this root operator you will see that well the input the type of the input expression of the uh, the type of the input of this plus one operator expected one is an integer but a is of type array of 12 integer so this is not compatible and I can have confirmation of that I have it had 12 here I have an int here so that will not fit right but if I do if I apply the map iterator so again map iterator is going to apply this plus one operator on every cell on every element of the a array okay here I have to give the size it's mandatory for safety reasons I have to say okay I want to do it 12 times if the size does not match here there will be an error so if I just say okay just do it on two elements and if I check my model there is a typing error because it's expecting an int had two an array of two integers and it's receiving an array of 12 integers so it's not the right size if I put 12 here that means okay run this plus one operator 12 times on each element of this array okay so I can check that okay should be a function no big deal and no error fine let's have a look at how this behave starting the simulator okay so let's put the same values that the one I had and do one step and we see that B is 2 3 4 5 so it's what we expect we have exactly the values plus one okay we can have a quick look at the generated code as well so it's very simple we have something that is quite similar to the code I've typed okay my output B at index I is oh here the call to the plus one operator at A at index I I might want um, not to have this plus one function if you look at the plus one function here just returning plus one so um, you're paying the price of a function call for every plus one you do you might not want this okay you probably want to expand this operator so this plus one operator is going to be expanded so I close this file regenerate the code And you see that you have exactly the code 
uh, uh, written that I written manually here. But the simplest example you can find, it's really a pointwise application of an operator on every element of an array. And with the map iterator, what happens in the computation of one element cannot influence the other elements. You have a clean separation between every index in your array. That's all for the first example.